Hello, 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 my little devil darlings. This is Penny the Angelic Sweetheart here, and welcome back to my channel. And today, we are going to be reacting to another Five Nights at Freddy's animation or film by Spectre. And this one is called Paranormal Investigation. So, um, I have no idea what's going to happen. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and just watch this, okay? This is 19 minutes long, so... There's not going to be a two-parter. We're going to do this all in one part. So let's let's do it. I'm also going to do this while eating my dinner. All right. Got a bit of an unusual call today, but a job is still a job, I guess. I got a call from a kid's restaurant manager saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. Let's see. The place is called Ready Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, normally I'd get called into places that are abandoned or at least old buildings that are at least a century old. But, uh, the strip mall itself looks pretty new and the manager told me that this particular location was opened roughly five years ago. He mentioned that these activities are interrupting businesses and that they might have to close this location and reopen it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. So, let's see here. All right. Uh, they've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Company property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power to the building is shut off completely. Sometimes said property will mysteriously disappear and then reappear a day or so later. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about where basically a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror, and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. A few employees will often feel a tense presence when working on or next to the animatronics, particularly at night. Night shift workers have reported seeing children, usually one at a time, walk around the restaurant after hours when the doors are locked. When they go to assess the situation and figure out how the child accidentally got locked in, they are nowhere to be found and some have even disappeared in full view of a few employees. When checking the security camera footage, these children seem to rage in age and sex, but will consistently look between the ages of 6 and 11. And that's all she wrote. So, based off that information alone, my guess is that this is some sort of poltergeist. Uh, it does sound like there may be more than one in the building, but of course I won't know that for sure until I can hopefully make contact with one of them. The thing is, if no one's been possessed or has died yet, then it seems these entities may not be violent or demons or anything like that. Oh. Okay. Bitch, you're wrong. Those spirits are violent, and you are getting yourself <clears throat> into a very dangerous and bad situation. I'd just leave right now if I were you. I wouldn't go in there altogether. Fuck that job. <coughs> very well may just be the spirits of actual children who are maybe just lost and obviously confused about what's going on. But again, we'll know for sure until we're in there. Alright, I believe that's everything I need. Yep, that's everything. Alright. Okay, I was told the door should be unlocked and nobody should be inside the building. So, let's see what's up with this place. I'd get the fuck out of there. I wouldn't go in there. Okay, so the power to the building should be cut entirely. Alright, that seems to be the case. Okay, so I told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely, just to make sure like if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could rule out the possibility of it being the power. Also, we need to make sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. But of course, this unfortunately means that I have to work in the dark. All right, let's get the EMF reader out and let's see. Well, shit, okay. So I was told that all of their animatronic characters should be on stage and shut down. And um, there seems to be one missing. I was told there's a bear, a bunny, a chicken, and a fox. And uh, 
It doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Probably shouldn't jump the gun just yet. Jump the gun now. Jump it now. Freddy is more active in the fucking dark. Get the fuck out of there. Now. That's what I would have done. Hell no. So, maybe one of the boys <clears throat> forgot to take him out of storage or something. <clears throat> Regardless, let's, uh, go ahead and get set up here. All right, let's see what the EMF <clears throat> looks up. Oh, wow. I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. Getting a few blips here and there, but nothing pretty substantial yet. Oh, here we go. I think we got something right here. <coughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it seems to be in this area. Let's go ahead and set up the spirit box then. Sparkling in the background. I really hope that's not anything. All right, if there's anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence known. I need no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room, or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. My name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Sean. Whoa, shit. Here we go. Okay. Just so I can make sure that wasn't a coincidence, can you say my name again? Sean. All right. Thank you. So now that I know that I'm speaking to someone, can you tell me your name? Susie. Susie. Did I hear you say Susie? Yep. Okay, hi Susie. Is there anyone else in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? They're here. Who's they, Susie? What are their names? Do you know their names, Susie? Alright, well, if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. How old are you, Susie? Do you remember your age? Eight. Eight. Okay. So you must be one of the children that I've heard about. All right, Susie. I guess more to the point. How did you die? Do you remember how you died? I'm not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you and why you're here. If you're uncomfortable telling me... Murder? Murder? Who murdered you? Sweetie. I would not do this alone. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to be alone in the dark. Screw that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. Do you remember this person's name? Bunny. Bunny? You were murdered by a bunny? No. Maybe she meant Donnie? Like a Donald? Yeah. Wait, was that a yes? Huh? Alright then. Uh, how did this bunny kill you? Knife. A knife? Susie, was this a person dressed like a bunny? Yes. 
Holy shit. Hold up, I have to make sure the camera got that. Okay, holy shit. So there might have been a murder or something that happened here. Restaurant owners said that they had operated here for five years straight and the paranormal activity didn't start happening until after this July. So this may have been something that happened pretty recently. But I have no idea what that actually means though. Maybe an employee decided he or she had enough, maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on, or maybe the spirit's just lying to me. I have no idea. I'll have to show this to the restaurant owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security cameras. But let me just say that these responses are certainly not unusual in a place like this. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. They're fairly coherent and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, which is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. All right, are you still there, Susie? Susie, can you still hear me? Ah, just lost the signal. If there are any spirits still in the room with me, please make your presence known. I'm so scared something's gonna jump out. Like, creepy environments, I have a creepy vibe, okay, that doesn't get me that much. It's just, like, it's the unexpected that gets me. Yeah. And I'm not expecting something to happen. I didn't know, let's get to me. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know if the camera caught that, but I think I just heard a chair move. Look, right there. That's at least where the sound came from. Okay, get the fuck out. And besides, you should be more worried about the animatronics, honey. It's right next to my flashlight, too. Did someone just pull this chair out? Are you sitting down right here? Oh. Do you want the flashlight off? Okay, those are brand new batteries. There's no way my flashlight just died. Yeah, look at that. Still works. Now that the flashlight's off, will you talk to me now? Yeah. Off again? What else do you want me to turn off? Noise. Noise? You want me to turn the spirit box off? If I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? Alright, let's go ahead and turn the spirit box off for now. Alright, I turned the noise off. Whoever you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to have a conversation with you. Can you tell me where you are right now? The fuck is that noise? What the fuck is that? Huh? Hello? I don't know if the camera could see that, but I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. Seriously? I didn't see anything. There should be no one here but me. You need to be worried about the animatronics, honey. So I'm going to have to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell that just was. But it looked like a silhouette of a person standing next to these pinballs. Silhouette? Machines. Don't you mean silhouette? This person definitely wasn't as tall as me, so maybe it was an apparition of one of the children the night guards keep. Oh, hell no! What the fuck? Shit! <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? Yeah, the other one's locked too. Well, I was gonna do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kid saw to reveal itself, but uh, it seems like the spirit isn't a fan of that.
So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door for the spirit to lock, you know? Anyways, there I seriously gonna need be to check tomorrow, the footage because I need to make sure the camera even got what I just saw a moment ago. Alright, so it looks exactly what I saw, which was pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. It also looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's one of the children that the night guards were talking about. It just leads me to believe, you know, a lot more than I did originally, that maybe more than one spirit's presiding here. The voice that kept saying, off, off, sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to, so I don't know. Let's, uh, go ahead and turn the spirit box back on, see if we can get anyone else here to talk with me, and also see if any other activity will happen tonight. If not, then I'm probably going to call it quits for tonight. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello? You guys freaking saw that. You saw that, didn't you? Okay, let's do a replay of that really freaking quick. Quits for tonight. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you freaking see that? Oh my gosh, that is so creepy. That is scary. Holy fuck. Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> Hello? That's gotta be one of the children. Look at that. Now she's gone. Hold up. Let me grab the case so I can see what that's about. Take the spirit box with you. Another eating area. Oh. Huh. Well, I guess that explains where you were the entire time. Honey, I'm, get uh, out of the building now. I'm having a bit of a hard time believing you were left like that, though. I want to at least try to do a session with one of these things, so I guess now's a better time than any to see if these spirits are in fact controlling the animatronics themselves. Going in with the big guns now. Gonna set up an ovulus for this session. Mode. So hopefully I can get some clearly spoken words. Oh, that's creepy. All right. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? Anyone who'd like to communicate with me? I, of course, mean you no harm. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. Did, uh, did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. All right. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? Bear. Bear. So you're saying you're in front of the bear? Inside. Inside? Are you the one who moved the bear in here? Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I'm not gonna assume you're trapped. doing it. Trapped? You're, you're trapped inside that thing? How did you get trapped? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. How did you get trapped in that thing? Okay, well, if you're still troubled by what happened to you, then I guess we can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Okay. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Murder. There it is again. Murder. That's exactly what Susie said. Do you remember who murdered you, Gabriel? Him. Him? What, what do you mean, him, Gabriel? Do you remember his name? Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Now, if you help me out... We must die, 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 die. 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 will die. I assume you're talking about your killer. I don't know if I'm going to kill him, per se, but I'm willing to find him and make him pay for what he did to you and Susie. 
just tell me what you remember of him. Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Do you remember what he looked like? What he was wearing? Purple. Purple. Okay, purple. Well, at least that's something. I was told by the restaurant owner that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Did you ever see his face? Can you describe it to me? No, too dark. No, too dark. Okay, so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. Alright, so one last thing I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she mentioned something about someone in a bunny suit. Does that sound familiar to you? Gabriel, are you still there? Get out. Get out? Why? Why do you want me to leave, Gabriel? Get out. Get out. Have I said something to upset you? Get out. Get out! What the fuck? Why did this just go out? What the fuck? Get out now! Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Holy shit! What just happened? I thought he escaped. Okay, I have no idea, like, what the hell happened at the end. Like... Oh my gosh. Oh, that was creepy. Well, guys, that was, uh, <laughs> that was, a uh, Paranormal Investigation by Spectres, and wow, that was amazing. It was creepy and everything. And when the spirit tells you to get out, you get out. Do not freaking ignore them. He had his chance to leave, and he wasted it. So I don't feel that much sympathy for him, so... Yeah, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and go subscribe to Spectre. He really deserves the subscribers for the great films he's done. I hope he does more soon. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this, even though I just said it, but I really do hope you did. And follow all of my social medias, and I will see you all next time, okay? Bye! Stay creative!